The Carb Theatre is one of the major landmarks right here in Crossroads, as you can see behind me. And that's where we're coming to you guys from in this week's episode of Predis. Now, if you want the latest in Jamaica's entertainment and lifestyle, this is the show for you. For the next half an hour, we'll be thrilling you with celebrities, interviews, and so much more. Now, right now, my name is Kazmar James, and Predis starts right now. Alright now evening crossroads, you don't have to get my drink on, it's my ocean spray cranberry juice, I cannot live without it. Now pre this, 20 beautiful ladies will be vying for the title of Miss Jamaica World 2011 on August 27. And of course I can't wait to see who is going to actually win. Now pre this was there at the launch, it took place recently. And of course we're going to talk to one of the sponsors to find out exactly what the competition is going to be like. And if we can finally see some of the girls. Now pre this, we have 20 girls you know, watch it. I think really helped the pageant this year and for those of you who didn't know in May we staged some auditions why in July we usually have a very group of girls a very wonderful group of girls showing up but they're not ready physically mentally so we say come on into Spartan from May we'll see and we we'll pre-select the girls who have the most potential Another thing that we'll be doing is launching our new website which is a lot more user friendly and it will be updated immediately as events happen. Um, another thing is our social media giveaways because our fans again, social media is so big right now and as um, Tamara said, there are some girls who as soon as they were selected, they were almost having more fans than the Mystery Maker or page and I was like, uh-uh, this is, this is just not going to work. And the girls are such good troopers is that we did our first ever Mystery Maker World themed photo shoot. So instead of seeing the high school headshot, do you know that headshot that nobody ever likes? And we see the original traditional stance. We actually got the girls in a themed photo shoot, which I'm not going to leak because that's not going to be released until next week. And it's just another way to not only showcase the ladies, but also enhance the look and the feel of the pageants. And if you're feeling down, I'll take you on my way. Well, it's a very exciting time for us with Ocean Spray. You know, beauty comes from within, and that's how we really feel, and that's what our products do for you. They keep you healthy, refreshed, and this year what we're looking at, there's 20 beautiful women that are that are contestants, and we have two in particular that we're rooting for. We have Miss Ocean Spray Water, which is Roxanne Elliott, and Miss Ocean Spray, Danielle Crossgill. Anything that's going to be promoting you know, upliftment of our women and our culture, you know, Ocean Spray is all over it. The swimsuit parade and sashing of the finalists in the Miss Jamaica World 2011 beauty pageant took place recently at the Sovereign Center in Kingston. Let's now meet 10 of the 20 finalists competing for the coveted title. The Miss Jamaica World 2011 journey has been phenomenal. It's been very hectic, but hard work put, hard work put in by these ladies, you can clearly see by today's performance. How are you preparing for the competition? Well, there's gym, there's grooming, there's keeping abreast of current affairs, there's, I mean, it's just a lot. So far the girls are great and I'm just get, um, looking forward to getting to know all of them better. Um, we had a photo shoot the other day which was excellent. It was the first time I did that type of thing and so that was really exciting. And then of course today was really, really nerve wracking but it's been good, yeah. How are you preparing for the finals? Wow, doing lots and lots, um, trying to just get my um, body in the best shape that I can be. So I've been at the gym every day um, and just preparing um, by 
practicing questions, you know, just doing... Picking lots of ocean spray. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> I think I have a better chance this time around. And I just want to give it my all. I don't think I did in the first pageant. And I'm looking forward to the experience, experience in Jamaica in the eyes of an ambassador and giving back. I love the group of girls that I'm with. We have fun, and which is, I think, the most important thing, having fun. And the different personalities to work with are absolutely excellent. The team is excellent. They definitely go out of their way to make sure that our experience is a good one. I'm looking forward to representing Jamaica internationally at London in my six inch heels. I'm also looking forward to use the platform, to using the platform to create knowledge as it pertains to health, as it, as it pertains to creating awareness in topics that I'm most passionate about. I'm most looking forward to you know, creating a platform for violence prevention um, in Jamaica. It's very important to focus on that because without preventing it, then we'll have not have a better Jamaica. So, I'm just looking forward to the experience and the networking and meeting all these different kind of peoples and these lovely peoples and also the interaction with the lovely girls. What was the drive that said enter Miss Jamaica this year? My friends. My friends were like, you know, you could be Miss Jamaica and at first I was doubting them but they pushed me and they really backed me and they've supported me all the way. They're all here today and I thank all of them for that. I decided to enter this year because I believed it was the best time for this opportunity for me in my life. I just graduated last year from the University of the West Indies and I'm currently working at the Bank of Nova Scotia. So I decided that to fulfill the potential while I'm young and 21 and have many things to offer to Jamaica. All right, Stacious look good here, man. And of course, we're here in Cross. I was getting a vibe of the place, and I saw this poster, and it just catch my attention. I couldn't pass it. I have to look on it. Now, of course, we're talking about the Wrigley's Five Events calendar because this is fully loaded. It's gone already still, but uh, yo, the poster bad. Now, it's a Wrigley's Five Previous Events calendar. If you want to find out what events in Jamaica are the hardest events to go to, this is the calendar for you. Now, pre this. Now, everybody, everybody cop up. If you came in a party, put your drinks up in the air. Put your drinks up in the air. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. You can hear a hit drop every time I step in the club. And as the beat come back, everybody knows I'm up in the club. Cause it's raining. Alcohol. And it's here, Chopin. Guess the party in the zone. It's raining. Alcohol. It's raining. Alcohol. Now everybody say. Hennessy case, Red Bull chase, my eyes them puffy, mace, lick off for lunch and dinner, say your grace, my glass empty, refill them in case, my gum by the gates, the girls love the vibe. It's all about yesterday, August 6th at Mass Camp, you know it's all drinks free, and uh, we just say come and celebrate Independence Day with us, you know it's the best of the 90s, and we must say a special thanks to our sponsors, Appleton, Durex, Superior Honda, Boom energy drinks and pre this. Yeah, you know, it says $1,500 to, to come in, 18 at the gate, and you can get your ticket at Just Come Sports, Avery's Beauty Concept, Almond Tree Sports Bar, Fuel, that is in Portmore, Ligani Total, Genus Pharmacy, all locations in Portmore, Glitter New Kingston, and Just Call Cures. Their numbers are 355 73 9021. So, you know, it says all about all drinks free. Independence Day at Mass Camp. Yesterday, best of the 90s. Ah, we're just getting started, but don't go anywhere. Don't you dare move a muscle because we have more pre right after the short commercial break. We're so forward. <laughs> 